Hi, I'm Pamela of PLB Yoga, and um, I'm recording this in my home on Burke Mountain in Coquitlam, Canada. Today's uh, yoga practice, Journey on the Mat, will focus on our solar plexus chakra. I am currently sitting in hero's pose. I have a prop below me. I went for a big bike ride yesterday and my quads are quite swollen and um, inflexible. <laughs> so this pose will hopefully stretch them out. The hand mudra for today is the Agni Mudra and it's folding in the ring finger and placing the thumb over top. Extend the fingers lightly and I'm going to palm up and face the sun. It's morning today, right now. Um, the affirmation that we want to send out uh, because it's the solar plexus is um, energy, uh, I allow energy in and I allow energy out. I accept energy and release energy. So the concept is we're we're um, sending the message about creativity and um, actual execution of that through the solar plexus. So I'm going to close my eyes and breathe in through my nose and send, uh, receive energy. And as I exhale, I'll release energy. So big inhale and energy flows in through me and energy flows out of me. I accept and I release. Okay, great. Our practice will begin in hero's pose. I'm going to position myself at the back of the mat. It's also still in hero's pose, but I'm we're not going to be there too long as we move through in the openers. So I'm going to get rid of my blocks. Okay. So let's set ourselves up for success here. Um, sometimes tilting the pelvis in takes a bit of the pressure off the thighs and sometimes the knees. You can fold your feet under or stretch your legs open wide, your knees open wider. However, we're going to cope with the stress of stretching out our body by breathing in and out through our nose and slow it down. Okay, on the inhale, we're going to move over to tabletop. And exhale, sink our belly down and lift our chin up, inhale again, and exhale to cat, inhale cow, exhale cat, and we come back to heroes, slowly we're just warming up. There, I can tilt a little bit more and feel some of the quads stretching out. I hope you can too. I'm going to sit up tall, shrug my shoulders back and provide some space between my ears and my shoulders. My gaze is forward and on an inhale, I'm going to move into tabletop. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog. Now, let's take a moment and be here. So in your own couple, inhale and exhale. Maybe I'm going to in accept the energy and release energy here. Back to 
tabletop on an inhale and exhale back to heels pose. Shrug your shoulders back. Let's relax our neck, rotate it. Shrug the shoulders back, tilt in, lift up a little. All the little adjustments. We just reawaken the blood flow, flow through our body. And by making those little adjustments, takes the pressure sometimes or releases some blockages. So on an inhale, move to tabletop. In, downward to cow, still inhaling. Exhale, cat. Same deal again. These inhales and exhales might get deeper. Exhale, down dog. Okay, we're gonna come back to, down, uh, to tabletop. So just breathe in and out as you see fit here. I'm gonna get some proper placement. Um, Find some strength of your palms underneath your shoulders. Your back is stable for a moment. Let's just hover here. And on an inhale, I'm going to needle my arm, my right hand in between my left and my left leg. So inhale and slide it down. And we're going to do a gentle twist. Relax your head. This gentle twist is to warm up because we're exercising our solar plexus here. Stay and breathe. Great. Come back up, put your hand. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And come back to heels. Each time we return to heels, it's a little bit more relaxed. A little more loose. Okay, on an inhale, come to tabletop. Cow, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, and down dog. Stay and breathe. And on an inhale, come to tabletop. And this time, we're gonna come with our left hand to the right. Inhale, come up, tabletop. Keep breathing your in, in the cow. Exhale, cow, cat, and back to heels. I find my breath can get deeper and deeper once I start moving into cow and cat. Somehow activating this area just deepens it more than if I just sit in a chair or in a meditation, just the act of inhaling and exhaling while working the back does it beautiful. Okay, we're just going to run through one more time and uh, then we'll move into our uh, sequence. So on an inhale, let's move into cow. Exhale cat. Inhale cow. Exhale down dog. I'm gonna really work my heels. They're really sore today. Inhale, tabletop. Out and come down. On an inhale, come back up. 
and exhale back. Not surprising when you return and return to these um, simple poses, asanas, what happens is they become easier the next time you move through it. The first time I could really feel it on my side. The second time, it's not such a shock to the system. Let's try on the other side now and see how it feels. Inhale, on your tabletop, nice inhale. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, dog. I'm sorry, I need the moment. I'm gonna stay here. I've gotta warm up these heels, they hurt. Okay, and we're rested. Let's come in and thread through the other side. Okay, coming back to tabletop. Inhale, cat, cow. And exhale, cat. Back up. Feels good, feels nice and relaxed. Okay, so we're gonna move into a um, sequence that will get us standing, but we're gonna start in this kneeling position. So first things first, let's move to um, cow, cat, into down dog. So cow, inhale, and cat, inhale for down dog. Take an inhale, move your hands out a bit. I have to, to come into plank. Let's hold strong here for a moment. We're gonna pull our right knee up to our hands on an inhale and lay down your legs. Stretch out your legs. Come over onto your hip and pull your left leg up over your right, and uh, this should just feel beautiful. Just let the hips slowly come down. Okay, I'm gonna wrap my right arm around. I'm gently warming up my hip, and I'm gently twisting. So I'm gonna look over my left shoulder, I'm inhaling through my nose and I'm gonna exhale and then come back, release the pressure a bit and line myself. Great, I'm gonna hug it again on the inhale. Twist around, looking over my shoulder. Let's stay and breathe for a little bit here. I'm calming my body. Stretching it out. Great, and then another inhale over here. Any adjustments that you want to make to feel good. This time, instead of hugging my leg, I'm gonna take an inhale and put it on the other side of the knee and give myself a little bit of leverage, straighten it up and look over my left shoulder. And we can breathe a couple of cycles in. And we're really opening up our upper back, our solar plexus. Each time we approach it, it becomes a little bit easier. That's great. Okay, we're gonna release our arms off. We're gonna lift that leg back up and swing it back. Oh, so nice, right? And we'll slowly return to hero pose. Okay, let's take a moment. I definitely feel swoopy on this side. That's great, right? 
I feel lower to the ground. I feel more connected on my left side. This side, I cannot wait. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move to the other side though so that you can see and what it looks like. So if you want, take a moment, switch around your mat and come to the other side as well. Okay, we're in Hero's Pose. And we're gonna work on the right side this time, okay? So on an inhale, let's move to cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And move into dog. Okay, it's working. All of this, all of our stretching that heal up is not pinging me as much. It's great. <laughs> That's why we do this. Great, let's move into high plank. I have to move a bit forward. I'm strengthening my position. I'm gonna tuck in my tummy a bit, but drop my tail. I'm strong. I'm gonna bring my left, uh, my right knee up in, oh no, my left knee up to my hands. Sorry, because I switched around. So bring your left knee up to your hands. Oh, and lay it down. That's good, we're sort of in pigeon. We're gonna lay back, pull that right leg forward. Okay, so remember, we're just hugging gently for the couple first ones, right? We're gonna adjust, this feels great. Okay, so hug it in, and the first one's super gentle, right? Looking over our shoulder. Great, let's come back align and just we're slowing our breath down breathe in through the nose and calm your body down it's all okay all the signals that come up this is tight this is hard breathe through it it's okay it's going to be easy by the third one another hug let's stay and breathe for a few seconds here it's definitely getting easier. Okay. Come back, take the pressure off, align. This one, the left arm comes in front of the knee. We're gonna use it as leverage, remember. Just find that fat around the back. Your arm can scooch over, your shoulder can be free. Take an inhale and look over your shoulder. So where do you feel it this time? Is it in the crevice of your hip this time? Is it the hip that doesn't want to open? It's okay. Breathe through it slowly and feel where it is. Great, we're gonna take the pressure off. We're gonna come forward and lift that leg, swing it back. Oh. We come back to hero's pose. Wow, hey? Oof. One side is always a little bit more flowy and the other one's a little bit more difficult. Wow, that feels good, right? Okay, I'm gonna switch back so that we're operating on the same side again. So we're gonna work on our right leg forward. Okay, so I'm in hero's pose. Different perspective in life too when you switch around on the mat. Sometimes you need that. Okay, I'm realigning myself. Feels good, right? On an inhale, let's move to cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Let's move out to dog. <laughs> Inhale to high plank. On an inhale, pull that right knee up to your hands. 
and lower down. Come back onto your hip, out of pigeon, and we're gonna pull the leg into a twist. This one, we're gonna do the full expression of this one. So your right hand on an inhale comes in front for the leverage. We're gonna look over our shoulder. I accept energy and I release energy. Okay, so we have done that. Let's take the pressure off, come out from it. We're gonna move into a dancer's pose. Okay, so swing your leg back, come into hero's pose. And take an inhale into dog. Exhale right, inhale down. Okay. So I'm gonna walk my feet up a bit. And I'm gonna come to a forward fold. I haven't been here, so I'm gonna come up to half lift and just gently reach myself up. Another half lift and lower down to forward fold. Sweeping our arms up. Palms together. Heart center. Great. This is where we're gonna come into dancer's pose. So hands on the hips. Feet are really strongly founded on the earth. Spread your toes, shift your weight to the right side, lift up onto your balls of your feet. Now for me, I need to grab my front of my ankle by coming forward and holding it back. I'm adjusting till I feel good. I'm good and strong on my right leg. So the next step is to come bring your body forward and let your hand stretch out. It's okay if you need. It's all good. back, put your feet on the floor, hands on the side. Let's sweep up, swan dive down, crawl up to down dog. Not to tabletop, let's come back to hero's pose. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna do dancer's pose on the other side. My left leg is gonna come out. And then we'll try it a couple more times. Ready? So we're in heroes. We're gonna rotate. We're gonna move through all of the warm ups again, right? We're working this core part here. So inhale into cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. In front for dog. So exhale, dog. walk my feet up a little bit, come to forward fold, half lift, forward fold, half lift, sweep all the way up, palms together, inhale, okay, feet are firmly on the ground, Stretching my toes out, hands on the hips, knee to the left leg, foot, putting all our weight on, lifting my weight up off my right foot. Okay, for me, I need to come up with my knee a bit in order to grab it. So let's do that. My left arch heel is really sore. I hope I can support myself. 
<laughs> okay. It's feeling pretty stir uh, pretty weak today. Okay. Let's see. I'm adjusting my hand placement. Just get it just right. Down dog. Can you hop and do this? Okay, what do you think? Should we try it one more time on the other side? Let's give ourselves some perspective, right? Straight up black tea. Okay, we'll move through this quickly, okay? Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog. Walk your feet up a little. Lift up to half lift, down to forward fold. Sweep up. Hands together, back down to your hips. Put your weight on your right leg, on your feet. Lift off your left toe. Bend forward. Grab your ankle. Come back. Bend forward into downward pose. Good. Drop it down. I did it. Great job. Sweep up. Come down to down dog. Warming up still. Drop the tabletop, drop down to heroes. So great. Let's do the last one on the left side. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog. Walk your feet up a little bit. Come to half lift, forward fold, exhale, swoop up. Release your hands back to your hips, switch your weight over to your left foot. Take an inhale, lift your right foot off the ground. Reach over, grab your ankle. There we go, I've got a good spot holding on. I'm going to release into dancer's pose. I set energy and I release energy. Ooh. Great. Okay, that was the introduction to your solar plexus chakra. Thanks for watching today. I hope that you had a moment to breathe in and out in the movements for you, not towards just listening to me. We'll see you with the next video. Thanks for watching. Namaste.